have been working on a simulation of ants and their pheromone trails. Ants spawn from these dark blue ant spawn cells and wander randomly in search of the green food cells. While ants are searching for food, they lay down a trail of search pheromones, which paint cells blue. When an ant finds food, his goal changes and he starts searching for an ant spawn cell. Now the ant lays down return pheromones, which paint cells yellow. If an ant sees a pheromone trail of the opposite type, he will follow it. The search and return pheromones aren't just numbers, they're actually vectors that have a magnitude and direction. This can be visualized by switching the simulation view mode to vector pheromones. Storing the pheromone trails as vectors is an abstraction of pheromone gradients across a measure of distance, not just pheromone concentration. This gives the ants very sophisticated pathfinding and path-following behavior without giving them access to any information that's outside of their limited field of view. Pheromones dissipate from cells and also diffuse into neighboring cells slowly over time. You can play with the simulation yourself either by visiting the link to the website in the description or by building the application yourself. The GitHub repository will also be linked below. This was built with Angular, so you can just clone the repository, install the dependencies, and run ng-serve to have a local version of the application. I should mention that this was built solely with desktop browsers in mind. Mobile is not supported, and the performance will likely be poor if it works at all. Predators spawn from these orange cells and seek out ants directly if they're nearby. Ants who interact with predators or who see another ant fall prey lay down distress pheromones. Distress pheromones are simple scalar values, not vectors like the search and return pheromones. Ants try to avoid predators and distress pheromones. They're not always successful. You can create your own setup using the cell drawing tools available. It's important to note that the ant's collision logic tends to make them unable to navigate very narrow passageways. This is on the short list of improvements to make in the future, as real ants are pretty good at doing that. You can also paint pheromone trails directly using shift clicks. For vector pheromones, the vectors will be aligned with the direction that the cursor is moving. The grid can be saved to a JSON file and loaded at a later time. The live organisms and pheromones aren't saved, just the underlying grid of cells. There are a variety of controls available to modify the organism and pheromone behavior. You can spawn more ants or predators, control the lifespan of the organisms, and dictate the rates of pheromone diffusion and dissipation. Be aware that tweaking some of the settings to their extremes will result in strange behavior. The simulation requires some balance between ant lifespan, pheromone dissipation, and distance to the food source in order to work properly. That covers most of the features. In the future, I'd like to improve the ants' collision logic, investigate ways to make the simulation larger while keeping performance acceptable, and give the ants more navigational options. There are a myriad of different cell types that could be added, like mud that slows movement, water that has a flow direction that pushes ants in their pheromone trails, and many more. Ants originating from different spawning cells could compete with other ants for food, or maybe they could steal food directly from each other. <laughs>